Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help tell the story of the 20th century. Havana, January 1st, 1959. The 26 de Julio, the 26th of July movement, led by Fidel Castro, had turned out the tyrant Batista. To the Cuban people and to the admiring world, there could be no better way to start the new year. A correspondent remembers those heady days. Aristides Molion of Venezuela's Ultimas Noticias. 23 days after Castro's victory, we received him in Caracas. He had just triumphed over a dictatorship, and therefore we welcomed his revolution. Castro was an impassioned man, but a civil war is no joke. We had hopes that he would allow the Cuban people to decide on their own future, to take their place in the sun, and to adapt their institutions to their desires. The revolutionary leader now took to the public square in Havana to tell the people what victory meant. There would soon be general elections. There would be a free press beholden to no one. There would be land for the peasants. This revolution, Fidel Castro told the people standing in the sun of the Prado, is as native as the Cuban palms. But first there was further bloodletting to be done. The world had mixed emotions about such violent retribution as convicted torturers and collaborators fell with a maximum of publicity and a minimum of due process of law. A Cantonese refugee from communist China. For the purpose of seizing power, the communist revolutionaries found it to their advantage to be on the side of the people at the beginning. But once victory was secured, they did not hesitate to turn their guns on the people. From our own bitter experience, people on the Chinese mainland have come to realize that the fate in store for the Cubans cannot be any different from what has befallen the Chinese people. 100 years ago, the great Cuban liberator, Jose Marti, wrote, Among the dreams of men, there is one that is most beautiful, to overcome the darkness. Perhaps one day, Cuba will overcome the darkness and truly know freedom and peace. 